Welcome to another video of Doe Tactics, I'm Xionus and this is how you can play Undying. Undying is a strength melee hero known for his incredible teamfight capabilities and tankiness making him an extremely useful and versatile hero. DK is a point target ability enabling Undying to steal strength from all enemy heroes in an area and dealing base damage as he uses the spell. Note that this spell also targets invisible units. Soul Rip is a unit target magical spell that either rips health away from all nearby enemy units to heal friendly units or damage an enemy. Soul Rip can also be used to heal Tombstone. Tombstone is Undying's trademark ability, summoning a tombstone at a target location. Zombies will frequently spawn next to every enemy unit in an area around the tombstone and attack them. Note that zombies have the so-called Deathlust ability, which causes their attacks to slow the target and if the target reaches below a certain amount of health, increases the attack and movement speed of the zombies. It is also important to note that Tombstone is spell immune, but can be healed by Soul Rip. Also note that since patch 6.85, Tombstone now requires a constant number of attacks to be destroyed by the enemy. Undying's ultimate is Flash Golem, transforming him into a golem affected by Plague Aura. This aura slows all enemy units within 750 range and amplifies the damage they take. Undying is healed when affected units die in range, regardless who killed it. Also note that Plague Aura goes through spell immunity. There are many ways to play Undying. Always make sure to adjust your build according to the game. The following build focuses on a very popular laning build. At level 1, invest 1 skill point into DK to be able to harass and pressure the enemy early on. You should also use this skill constantly during an emerging teamfight, but note that the mana cost is very high, especially in early game. At level 2, invest 1 skill point into Tombstone and use it whenever the enemy dives into your territory or you get ganked. Tombstone has an incredible damage output early on. A well-placed Tombstone can easily secure you first blood with the help of your laning partner. Because Tombstone is such an incredible and powerful spell, you max it out first by investing further skill points at 3, 5 and 7. At level 4, invest 1 skill point to Soul Rip to either be able to heal a friendly hero, your Tombstone or damage an enemy hero. At levels 8 to 10, invest further skill points into DK and use it as often as possible to steal as much strength as possible during teamfights. At levels 12 to 14, invest further skill points into Soul Rip. At the standard 6, 11 and 16, invest skill points into your ultimate. As starting items, get tangos, a clarity, a healing self, a stout shield and two iron branches for increased damage output. If you are the main support, make sure to buy utility items like the courier or wards. As soon as you can afford it, buy arcane boots as you have very high mana requirements throughout the entire game. Further, core items consist of a magic wand and a mechanism to support and heal your team during teamfights as best as possible. Especially mechanism is an extremely useful item on Undying as he excels in his main role as a tanky support hero. If your farm and the overall game allows it, extending to a solar crest is a great teamfight item. Additional core items consist of a Shiva's guard, size of vice and guardian griefs. Guardian griefs are a logical extension item in most matchups. Depending on the situation, you might want to invest gold into survivability items like Urn of Shadows, Glimmer Cape, Crimson Guard or Blade Mail. Another great situational item is Pipe of Insight if you do not want to buy a mechanism. You usually get a pipe if the enemy lineup consists of magic casters like Lina, Queen of Pain or Storm Spirit. It should also be noted that a Ring of Basilius is a valid early game item in some matchups as it increases mana regeneration and armor for you and your possible laning partner. Undying plays well together with heroes that can provide him with mana and have the ability to cast AOE nukes. Honorable mentions are Keeper of the Light, Crystal Maiden, Lich or Zeus. You should avoid picking Undying if the enemy lineup consists of heroes that can burn mana, deal damage or benefit from tombstone damage. Honorable mentions are Keeper of the Light, Lifestealer, Husker and Axe. Undying is one of the very few heroes with an extremely versatile playstyle. He is easy to learn, but hard to master. Undying is a great mixture of a core support, initiator, tank, space creator and great team fighter. Therefore, if you play Undying, you have to be extremely efficient at setting up good team fight opportunities for your team. It is absolutely essential that you can set up an optimal position for Tombstone so it can survive the longest while dealing the maximum amount of damage. Also note that in most teamfights it makes sense to set up a tombstone and then directly cast your ultimate as these two spells synergize extremely well. 
Also make sure to use any available high ground if possible to spawn your tombstone. A great example is the high ground directly in front of the Rosh Pit. A well-timed and plain tombstone can devastate the enemy attempt to secure Roshan and lead your team to victory. It is also important to note that this guide focused on the more popular supportive role of Undying. However, Undying can also be played as a semi-carry or even carry in the offlane by talented players. As always, remember to adapt your item choices to the situation at hand and play your role accordingly. If you stick to these basic rules, Undying will be a very satisfying and fun to play hero. Thank you for watching another contribution to my Dota Hero Guide series. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me a lot. Thanks and see you guys next time.